We're going post-apocalyptic this week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 149, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together to talk about video games. I'm your host Bobby FJ Town, but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve? Um, I started playing Assassin's Creed 3 again. Okay. Um, it's just as much fun as it was the first time. That's uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, the Revolutionary War one, right? Yeah. Um, and then I picked up uh, Jurassic World, a Lego, um, today nice. for 360. I beat the first uh, Jurassic Park story. Um, it's really fun. <laughs> the only problem I have with it is that no one dies. Um, and and wow. this is a bit of a spoiler, but uh, the guy who is sitting on the crapper uh, in the yeah. first Jurassic Park movie gets eaten by the... Uh, the T-Rex. Mm -hmm. In the game, he gets picked up off the crapper holding a toilet brush, and the T-Rex makes him brush his teeth. That, that's funny, because it's yeah. a kid's game. Yeah, and then at the end of the movie, uh, that guy gets spit out with a, a dirty toilet brush. Uh, but yeah, no one does. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's geared towards children. So. Yeah, it, it, I understand that. Um and they have added some new like commands to it because I noticed uh, for a while the commands for the Lego games were pretty much the same throughout the game, but they uh, started switching them up. Um, so there's now new commands that you have to do uh, for certain things. Question: Can you play as a Dilophosaurus? Yes. Nice. Uh, once once you unlock them, uh, you can play as the Dilophosaurus. You can play as the T Rex. Uh, there's like thirty thirty uh. 30 dinosaurs that you can play as. Nice. So, I've, always uh, wanted to, I've always wanted to be a dinosaur when I grew up. Yeah, so... <laughs> um, Stop being a dinosaur and get a job! <laughs> uh, so, yeah... My yeah, favorite stepbrother's yeah, quote. Once, once you unlock uh, unlock free play, then you, you're free to uh, be the dinosaurs or um, uh, basically be anyone you want in, in, from the movies, so... That's uh, cool. it, it's really fun. Even that talking raptor from uh, Jurassic Park 3? I don't know. I, I'm interested to see what happens uh, once I get there. If you've not seen that clip, go on YouTube and search uh, Velociraptor says Alan, I think it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, have to, I'll have to look it up. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty bad. Uh, but that's all I did. Alright. Uh, Riz, what did you achieve this week? Took you a while though. Did you forget yeah, my notes? I I, I us we usually go to Sorg, but Sorg's not with us this week, so I Sorg yeah. Sorg is on Sorg. Sorg is on assignment. Sorg is on assignment in uh in uh, fuck Zimbabwe. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I was gonna say a game reference, but good job, Bobby. Um, I played a little bit of Bloodborne. I didn't die too much in Bloodborne. That's a good thing. Uh, I I picked up. Elder Scrolls Online, and Very I'm, going to write, I'm going to write a nice little uh, tidbit later on in uh, Insert Coin to Begin about a game that I actually funded from Kickstarter. Oh, uh, cool. Chachi has already played it. Uh, Sorg has already played it. And I, I believe uh, we have a consensus saying that it is a very fun game. Yeah, the, it's definitely worth it. it, it it's it's oh. called... Should, should, I, should I just say it? Yeah, go ahead. It, it's called Quiplash. Uh, it was oh, you got, yeah, I was in the audience for this, too. It was... Yeah, I forgot Bobby was there, too. Mm -hmm. It was just released to the public today. Uh, I got... I got first-class treatment with, uh, with the uh, codes early. And... The overall assumption is that this is one of a, a pretty damn good party game. Uh, it 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 gets kind of it gets kind of weird when you don't know 
like well, because I just start. I actually before this, I tried to start one up, and nobody showed up. <laughs> so you you have that you have that little thing where if you're not a you know a big Twitch player, you're not gonna have eight people come up come at you for a, uh, a quick flash game. Uh, but from what we've what Chachi Sorg and uh, leave Matt and even uh, Christina all were available to play on Sunday, I believe, and we all liked it. I liked it. Uh, I, I, you can tell that it, it's still in progress, or like still work, mm-hmm. work being worked on. Um, there was a bunch of issues that we had, uh, at least on our side, on, on Chris's and I side, where it wouldn't leave the uh, the voting up for too long. Yeah, that, like that's... sometimes it'd be up for like a second or two and then disappear. And you wouldn't mm-hmm. get the vote. Um, but yeah, other than that, it seems to work well, and it, it was a lot of fun, at least on my part. Yeah, and I'm actually looking at a stream where they have a lot of people, and it is going very well. Cool. Uh, I got it for ten bucks. So what else is there? Yeah. And also, uh, Duck Game again. Duck Game. That game. That one game you tried to get us to play. I'm going to get you guys to play that game at least once. We'll see. My computer is terrible, so. So is mine. Bobby. What I did you achieve. Sir? I achieved this week not very much. Uh, I played some Simpsons Tapped Out, trying that that new Tap Hall game, uh, which is kind of confusing, but mm-hmm. whatever. Um, it got me the Lego uh, store for the Simpsons Blocko. For like 30 donuts, so I'm happy with that. I missed that on the uh, Easter uh, thing. Um, also, I played... Uh, did you see there was an update for Crossy Road, Chachi? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, um, they added side of the game now. From Gangnam Style. Huh. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to unlock them. I think you have to do like 300 hops or something like that to get something. I don't know, it's confusing. But yeah, they had an update. Uh... Basically, that's about all I played, uh, and of course, I checked on my cats. So um, I, I hope to, I hope this weekend, since it's Fourth of July weekend, long weekend, I'll get to play some video games. I've just been really busy, as you can see, my my room's a mess. Uh, I had some problems this weekend with that, or the last two weekends with that. So getting getting back together, so so that's good. But all right, Chachi, you want to send us around the net? It's now time for our video game theme things from around the memory. First up, uh, and I'm going to use this, this, this sentence lightly, um, <laughs> in air quotes. Um, the first time ever a third-party brand in a video game company are teaming up for content in a video game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I used air quotes around that because... I believe Activision and PepsiCo teamed up for content in a video game, um, as far as uh, the Call of Duty stuff goes. So, because I mean, in the last Call of Duty, you you were able to unlock like gear and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, this is actually a what's happening is Red Bull is teaming up with with Activision for Destiny, uh, in, mm-hmm. and creating a. An expansion pack, um, a DLC for the game. Uh, does, so, it, does it give you wings? <laughs> no. Actually, it might. Who knows? Um, but uh, it, it each Red Bull will, uh, can includes bonus XP, and uh, they gain access to a DLC called the Taken King. I'm glad Red Bull didn't team up with uh, Maximum Overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. Yeah. Bad move on their part. Um, so yeah, you can. Uh, or sunset, uh, sunset overdrive, not maximum overdrive. Sunset overdrive. I, I think it's a little too late um, as far as Destiny goes to get attention, and I think Red Bull should have teamed up with someone that they're actually affiliated with on a yeah. bigger scale, uh, like the next Call of Duty. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Red Bull is, is more associated with the Call of Duty games than it is. Uh, well, don't, don't they sponsor like the major league gaming events? They do. Yeah. They do. Mm-hmm. Um, so any of those games would make even, more sense. Even Halo, you know? right? So I, I, but you know, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. So uh, Red, next Red up, Bull, Red Bull. yeah. 
Uh, next up, uh, I put in a honest game trailer for World of Warcraft uh, because it is hilarious. <laughs> um, three minutes and 41 seconds long from Smosh Games. Includes the line, the game that requires more cooperation between nerds than the space program. Um, so it, it, it as, as usual, the, the, it's hilarious, and I, I have been seeing an honest game trailer that wasn't hilarious. <laughs> um, and last but not least, abstract mo- uh, abstract mode modders on YouTube uh, decided that the key cutscenes in Grand Theft Auto V could be funnier <laughs> if I, I uh, watch this. Yeah, if Trevor were naked. And they were 100% right. He's very naked. Oh, he is completely nude. And all of the cutscenes are, are better. Yeah. Uh, it just, I don't know, it just seems think, to fit more. I think my be- the best one you showed was the uh, the heist. Where everybody else <laughs> is the in, cop, like... The cop comes up, he's like, oh, God. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, no, my my favorite one, my favorite one is uh, uh when he's uh going up to CJ mm-hmm. and uh, he he's just like hey my N word what's up and jumps the fence and falls. <laughs> I, I think that's the the best one in it. Um, yeah. But uh, three minutes and twenty seven seconds long. You can go over to InsertCoin to Begin dot com and click on the video game theme things from around the internet post and check it out. Warning: dangly bits. Oh, yeah, no, there is 100% nudity in this, and oh, yeah. it's not appropriate yeah. for children. Yeah. yeah, no, not at all. I edited the picture that I used uh, to represent this <laughs> uh, themed things post, because I I didn't want any kids to ke- catch a glimpse of the dangly bits. But at least nobody's getting eaten with a toilet brush. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I have for you this week in right. video game theme things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. net, net. Back to you, Bobby. All right. Now it's time for some things you should be made aware of. Uh, Bethesda's mobile spinoff of its highly regarded Fallout franchise become the, became the most downloaded game in 48 countries and mm-hmm. reached the top spot on Apple's App Store just weeks after its launch. Uh, Fallout Shelter is Bethesda's first venture into mobile game the mobile gaming market. Uh, its early su- success may indicate that core gamers are still open to mobile games that aren't blatant cash grabs. Uh, according to Todd Howard, the game director at Bethesda Games, he says, We play games on our phones all the time and have always wanted to make one. Uh, so uh, to have our first mobile game be enjoyed by so many people is stunning. It just shows that gamers appreciate more depth and being treated fairly. It also shows people love Fallout as much as we do. Um, and they, he also went on to say, Our current priority is to, be, is to get it out on Android. Uh, so that's good news for us Android owners. Um, but he said it, uh, the, he said that in an interview with the Washington Post. Um, my question to you guys is: Are Mabel, are, are yeah, Mabel, are mobile versions of popular big budget games a cash in, or can they be a good teaser for a game that's still coming out? Both. Yes, okay. it depends on what the mobile game is. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's a I'm trying to think of a horrible one that I've played, but I try to stay away from horrible oh, games. Um, oh, there, there were a couple. Yeah. I, I know I know there was some that was out there. Like the Call of Duty ones aren't that good. Yeah. Uh, those are just cash well, grabs. What was that? Um, X- and the, good X- for them. Call of Duty XP, the, the thing they tried to launch. It was like keep track yeah. of stats and stuff. That didn't work out very well. Uh, no, Call of Duty Elite. Elite, yeah, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. Ugh. Call of Duty Elite. Um, well, there was that one. But, uh, yeah, no. there was the one for Mass Effect too, which was actually pretty cool because it actually helped you in the game. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, yeah, it helped yeah. you get a better ending in the game. Any like companion app is pretty mm-hmm. cool. Um, there, there were a few games that had some good ones. Uh, the, 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 the Rockstar game that they had, or the, the, yeah, the Rockstar game. They, um. Mm-hmm. The one for Grand Theft Auto they had, where you could like with a phone and everything, that didn't really work that well. I no, that was that was bad. Yeah. That was just a, I think that was that, kind of a cash in. Yeah, that was a cash grab. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I, I'm sorry. This Ooh. the the Fallout so in times in its first week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I, they, I would and, say they did something right. And yeah. Bethesda is a very reputable company too. Not saying Rockstar isn't, but Bethesda like they they seem to put put like everything into their games. Yeah, yeah they only put out good stuff. I, I mm. haven't played any bad games from mm. uh, Bethesda. So the only thing I have to say negative about it is he went on to say that it was. Then he just said. Then he say that this was like an original thing for the for the iPhone or whatever, mm-hmm. and it wasn't a, really a crack cash in. Yeah. Even though it looked, ex- even though it is pretty much just tiny tower. Yeah. It, it is just a tiny tower. I haven't played it yet, so I'll, I'll reserve judgment until I play it. But. I I have not played it either. I just watch, watched like different. They're people. in a Fallout shelter. There yeah. is not a tower. Well, it's a horizontal fall. <laughs> it's a horizontal tower. Okay, uh, I'll take your word for it. Good. good. All right. Moving on to our next story. Uh, speaking at a Metro MetroCon panel earlier this month, voice actor Nolan North from every video game ever uh, told the audience uh, that he knows that The Last of Us Two is in development. Uh, North, who plays a relatively minor role in the original game, was responding to a question about whether he was doing any more projects with The Last of Us developer Naughty Dog. Uh, spoiler warning here, so I'm going to give you time. If you don't want to hear anything, go away now. If you're sticking with us, good. Uh, for now, I know they're doing The Last of Us 2, but my... Uh, this is a minor spoiler, by the way. Uh, my character uh, meets in a... <coughs> met an untimely demise, North said, uh, before an audience member interrupted him complaining of spoilers. <laughs> um, at the unrelated indie pop con over the weekend, other video game voice actor, uh, Troy Baker, who was the main character in it, uh, he, well, with one of the main characters, said he knew nothing about The Last of a sequel when asked about it. Uh, my question to you guys is, do you think The Last of Us needs a sequel or is it a strong enough game to uh, uh, to last as a standalone game? It was kind of like a movie. Mm-hmm. Definitely like a movie. If you played the game, it was mm. tense and very movie-like, very cinema-like. Did it end with a cliffhanger? I didn't get to the end yet. <laughs> of course you did. Because it's on PS3 and it's upstairs. Because Bobby and, doesn't finish video and I got games. Stuck. I yeah. got stuck. I got stuck twice on it now. I know, I'm terrible at video games. Uh, hey, Riz, did you finish it? I didn't finish it yet, either. <laughs> but, you didn't finish it, either. But I got it for a PlayStation 4, which I got, like, three months ago. Yeah, You've yeah, had it for how long? Had it for about a year, probably. Maybe two years. Two Riz years wins, probably. LOL. Eh, whatever. Um, but, Play yeah, it. It, to be honest, I think it doesn't need another I, uh, series. I don't think it and, does, uh, either. I don't, I don't think... It's not. It's not like Ma- I keep on going to Mass Effect. It's not like Mass <laughs> Effect, which has all those little plot ends you need to fix. It's a s- straightforward, black and white story mode video game, and it it's it, it needs to stay like that. And but, just... but then again, uh, the the way that Naughty Dog has been with their franchises, they really take care of them. Uh, look at Uncharted. Uncharted two and three, it only got better with age. You know, I, I well, a lot of people think two is the best one. I I understand that, but mm-hmm. the th- this is more story though. Mm-hmm. Like I know Uncharted four, I believe, is going to have more of an open world feel to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think you can do that for a Last of Us. And if it's just the same old, here's a zombie story. Oh no, they're coming to get you. Oh, everybody's depressed. And everybody's depressed. Spoiler alert. Um, it's just to the point where it's like, okay, what, what else? What, you got you got Nathan Drake and my zombies. Yeah, exactly. Um, just let it be, guys. It's fine. It's it's a fine game. Don't ruin it by a sequel. That's it. That's it. It's not. It's not Half Life. Hashtag zombies. <laughs> All right. Moving on to our next story, guys. Do you miss old MS DOS games? Yes. Nope. Well, V Blank Entertainment's got your back. 
uh, Retro City Rampage, if you remember, uh, is being retrofitted to work on a new old platform in the form of Retro City Rampage 486. Uh, they go on to say, while ROM City Rampage was a, a fun prototype for the NES, uh, this is a full-on Retro City Rampage DX port. Uh, the developer said on Facebook, it proudly demonstrates once again that RCR is yet another retro style game, but something that you could have actually, or that could have actually been released in 1989. Uh, retro City Rampage 486 will be free for owners of uh, the Mac and Windows PC versions of Retro City Rampage. Uh, the port requires four megabytes of RAM and wow. 3.7 megabytes of hard drive storage space. <laughs> That's incredible. Not gigabytes, megabytes. Um, this, okay, this is this is cool. I, I, I like that they're they're doing this. Um, would you guys play more DOS games if they were available? Chachi, you, you said you like DOS games. Riz, you I said you DOS didn't. Games. Yeah, I, w I would play more DOS games if they were mm -hmm. coming out still. I, I would too. I, 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 I would play DOS I games. I honestly would. You mean I, to tell me that if they made a, a sequel to the Monkey Island games, you wouldn't run out and play it? There was talk of Monkey that. Monkey Island? Yeah. I, fuck yeah, I would. Exactly. Disney has the rights now. <laughs> oh. They might they might show up in, in Disney Infin Xfinity, or in Infinity. See? Oh, man. That, that would be nice. Uh, but, yeah, it, I do like MS-DOS games. I just don't think... I, I I don't know. Like I I I like it, but same thing with uh with stuff like what we have here with uh, Last of Us. Maybe maybe we don't need another rehash of things. You know you know who wants to play old MS DOS games? People that installed Batman Arkham Knight on their PCs. Oh <laughs> oh. Still still having trouble with that. Oh. And, and 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 to update yeah. today, I was watching a Twitch stream for Nerdist. Today and Malik was playing Arkham Knight on PS4, which they just released a patch for today. The game crashed twice, and it he fell through the ground and died two times. Like he kept falling through the ground, so they're having some more problems that you know with this latest patch that might have just might have screwed up the PS4 version too. Oh man! Yeah, they were just trying to fix the leaderboards in the game, but it, oof, I hope it didn't break the game for anybody. So, all right. You know what does go good with MS DOS games back in the day? Ooh, ooh, uh, pizza. Ooh, pizza. I was you want to check out our friends? You. you want to check out our friends at Slice on Broadway, right here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. If you're there, uh, Slice on Bro the Slice on Broadway philosophy is make the best darn pizzas, sandwiches, and salads money can buy. Make everything uh, they possibly can from scratch. Go out of their way to use the best stuff out there. And they wouldn't be able to sleep at night if they didn't have an abnormal obsession with pizza. There's two locations, 2128 Broadway Avenue in Beachview, PA, and 108 East Main Street in Carnegie, PA, PA uh, 15106. Uh, you can follow them at Pittsburgh Slice, or Pittsburgh underscore Slice, on Facebook and mm -hmm. Instagram, and tell them you heard about them on Boss Battle. All right, we're going to go into our... Final battle question this week. Uh, it has to do with backwards compatibility. Or backwards compatibility. Say that word again, Bobby. Backwards compatibility. I was thinking about pizza. It got Com me. Compatibly. Compatib compatibility. Com compatibly. Okay. Right. I was thinking about pizza. Chris. <laughs> it's okay. One of the biggest news stories coming out of E3 was the backwards compatibility that's coming for the Xbox One. Old, hmm. old, old games will become new again. And that fifty nine ninety nine you might have spent on one of your favorites might not be totally wasted. Uh, Microsoft has begun taking feedback on which games people want to see made backwards compatible with the Xbox One, and the leader, no surprise, is Red Dead Redemption. With more than 58,000 votes, other games that are in that ballpark are Call of Duty Black Ops 2, The Elder Scrolls V uh, Skyrim, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and Halo Reach. Now, the final battle question this week, what game would you guys want to be backwards compatible from the last gen? From the last gen? From the last gen. Oh, man, no, I don't want anything from the last <laughs> gen. Because everything I play on, on Xbox 360 is going to mm -hmm. be backwards compatible for the Xbox One. That's mm -hmm. true, I mean... Uh, yeah. Anything maybe, that I'm maybe, Okay, playing, okay. 
anything from the, the last from the first two gen. Yeah, that, no, that's from the last better. two generations. Not, if, not necessarily Xbox 360. If I could take one game with me to Xbox One, it would need to be probably Need for Speed Underground 2. Okay, I can see um, that. That was a good which, one. Which is backwards compatible mm-hmm. on the Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I don't think it's going to make it to the Xbox One. No. So that game is uh, that game is done. I remember playing it on GameCube. It was a good game. <laughs> you can make any car you wanted to. It was fun. Yeah. Just just good times. It was oh, Fast man. and the Furious for, for <laughs> nerds yeah. who like to stay at home and play video games. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, we, we're sad people. Um, <laughs> so you guys know I switched. Mm-hmm. Yes, you did. Yeah. And doing so, I don't have the ability to have backwards compatibility. Well, you could buy. I could, I could, could buy, buy another you, game. You you could buy, but PS3 or PS4 doesn't offer backwards compatibility. Well, it kind of does. Well, it kind of does with that that stream thing. Now, yeah. yeah. Um, but for me, since I have since I switched over, mm-hmm. one of the things that I'm waiting for is a PlayStation 4 version of every Mass Effect, from 1 through 3, in, including 1. Just so I can go back and prepare myself for the possible disappointment Mass Effect 4 is going to be. <laughs> and um, Shepard will prepare a place for you he on Xbox One. Yeah, backwards compatibility. <laughs> uh, but uh, other than that, Cruising USA. Oh, that's a good one. I can, yeah. It's not even. It's not. I don't even think Cru- it's on first cruising, gen. But screw it. Cruising Exotica. I don't care. <laughs> I want. I want to play that cool racing game that everybody loves. I I just want Skyrim. Of course you do, I Bobby. I just want Skyrim and and and, and Bioshock Infinite. And well, Skyrim will be backwards compatible. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I mean, I'm counting down the days because I want to play Skyrim. On, I can play it on 360. Actually, now. I can play it on my uh, PlayStation right now. I want, I want, I want Skyrim. I want, I want it, Bobby. It's okay. It's okay. I want, it. I want, I want to fight bears. Dragons. Rawr, I'm a bear. I won't, I won't fight. I won't We're fight coming bears. for you, Bobby. <laughs> All right. That is going to do it for us this week, guys. Let me get back it to is. that here. Yep. That's going to do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can follow us at, or you can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on our regularly scheduled network, live.sorgatronmedia.com. I said it right this week. Special thanks to me for doing the notes this week. <laughs> Mike Allen's not here either. Uh, but shout out to him at Mike Allen PR. Um, Chachi, you have anything to plug? ChachiPlays.com. All right, uh, get, hit that donate button and yeah, donate to Chachi. Over and, uh, help us out. Help us reach our, reach our goal. What, what date is uh, Chachi Plays this year? August 7th and 8th. Mm-hmm. All right, August seventh and eighth. Uh, Riz, do you have anything to plug? Do I, Bobby? <laughs> uh, actually, go to twitch.tv/slash rizIUP. My that was my old Twitter account. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a long time ago. And I'm subscribe, one, subscribe, or follow me on there to get the latest updates. If I'm doing a Quiplash game, or if you just want to see me fail at things like, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Bloodborne, or MLB 15, or something simple like, you know, billiards. If you want to see me do that, just follow me there. And as well as Riz Plays Games on Twitter, and the e Riz on uh, my other Twitter account, and ChachiPlays.com. What are you, British billiards? All right, uh, and you can follow me at at BobbyFJTown. My Twitch address is also my old uh, screen name, Grandmaster60, but we won't go into that right now. Um, (laughs) That's going to do it for us, everybody. Game over. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.